Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You clicked on the video so you know what it's gonna, gonna be about. It's gonna be about shadow work. If you don't know what shadow work is, then that's why it's great that you clicked on this video because I'm gonna teach you and I'm gonna show you tips and tools on what you can do to do the inner work of shadow work, what is shadow work, and how it helps me so much for me to help, for me to grow mentally and emotionally through my challenging time. As you guys been through watching my videos, you will know that I've, if you haven't watched any of my videos, you'll, you'll know today is that I've been through an 18 year narcissistic, narcissistic abusive relationship mentally and emotionally that really affected my mental health, my emotions, and how I was able to function after that breakup. So with that being said, this is one of the key things that I did and I worked on through my healing journey that allowed me to grow mentally and emotionally to become so much stronger to finally release, let go, and actually be able to move forward with myself, with loving myself more and finding myself more instead of moving on to another relationship or finding a band-aid to patch up that emptiness that I was feeling after that breakup. So let's get started. So what is shadow work? Now, you can do your research on it. I'm not an expert by any means on what shadow work is, but at the end of the day, this is how I look, this is my point of view on it and how I looked at it to dabble into it to work, work for me. And so from my understanding, what shadow work is, is you understanding what is that shadow that's been following you throughout your whole life. A lot of times, our shadow it started from obviously when we were a child, right? So either you dealt with a trauma, trauma experience with your mom, your dad at school, something happened to you that stuck on to you. And even in your adult life, you still have that shadow that's fault, that emotion, that experience um, that stuck in your subconscious mind that attached itself to you. So no matter what situation you're in, you see that emotions, you see those thoughts and feelings always stem up in different situations, right? And a lot of times we don't recognize it at all, but we find outside exterior things to fill that hole with inside of us to keep feeding that shadow, right? So a great example is, you know, I always felt alone. Even as a child, I always felt alone. I always felt that I didn't have no one to play with. I didn't have nobody showing me attention. So it's like I was always seeking for that love and that affection for someone to give me. So that was kind of like a shadow throughout my whole life, even to my adult life, I always wanted attention. I always wanted someone to love me or be there for me. So it's like through my whole relationship, I would rely on my ex to give me that love and to give me that affection because I, that was a gap with inside of me that a shadow that attached itself to me that was following me for my whole life, that I needed that to be fixed. I, I needed that attention. I needed that, that shadow to be seen, right? So it just followed me along my whole life. So when you're doing the shadow work is really digging, diving deep and understanding what are those habits, what are those, you know, bad traits that are, are just following you around your whole life, no matter what relationship you get in, no matter what situation you get in, it could be at work, it could be it, with a family, with family, it could be in any situation, you find that it's following you all around in every situation you go into. So the best thing I can say is when you can narrow it in and find out what are, what are some, you know, traits that you have that are just following you around and, and you're always looking for things outside of you to, to, for that shadow to be seen, to you, for, for it to be fed, right? So this is some shadow prompts that you can do that I'll, I'll go through step by step and tips and tools on what you could do to ask yourself the right questions to dig deep and find out what are some of those shadows following you around. So number one, what am I ashamed of with inside of myself and why? So this is a great question to ask yourself. 
Um, because at the end of the day, we constantly, especially within a breakup, we're constantly always looking to think about the other person instead of asking the right questions of within ourselves. So when you ask yourself, what are you ashamed of? It's like, what is something that's been following you around through your whole childhood life that you're ashamed of? Maybe you're ashamed that some people are ashamed that they they always want to be held. They want they always want to be loved. They always want to they always want to be seen. They always so is that something you're ashamed of? That what is it? What what is it something? And, and, and me, this is just me naming things. But you got to ask yourself that and dig deep and ask yourself why, why, why am I ashamed of it? Is it even something to be ashamed of? Then where number two. Where do I hold my pain and trauma? Now this is digging deep, you guys, right? This is again going back to your childhood life and what traumas have you, I named one of my trauma, right? One of my traumas is that I never used to get attention. I never, um, when I was from my parents, I never used to feel like I'm seen. I always, they always had their own problems. I always felt neglected. So that's a trauma that, cause pain to me to feel even in my adult life that I wanted somebody to fill somebody to 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 fill that gap with inside of me so number three what what piece of myself do I reject and why now I can give you guys a great another example um, about this is I always reject the thought of me deserving more I reject that all the time. Like Tracy, Tracy I, I say, maybe I'm asking for too much, you know? Maybe I'm expecting too much. And and I gotta dig deep and ask myself, why? Why? Why do you, why do you think that way? Maybe it's because at the end of the day, my parents always used to complain if I would ask for something. So that made me feel d- deep down inside when I was a child that I shouldn't think that I want more because then I'm asking for too much. Do you see where I'm going with this and how it stems always back to your childhood and what happened to you and then it kind of clings on to you as you go into your adult life. So for a long time, I used to think that, Tracy, you can't get more. You can't ask for more. You're being greedy. No, where at the end of the day, life is abundant. God created created us healthy, whole, and complete that we are, our cup runneth over full, that there's nothing that you can't achieve. There's nothing that you can't have if you believe in yourself. But again, that's a shadow that was following me around my whole life. And that's not even of me. That's of my parents' thoughts, right? So n- number four, what toxic cycles are you choosing, right, to hold on to, right, without, without recognizing it? right without a lot of times we have toxic traits and then we kind of find excuses for it right oh but this or oh but that or oh but this person or oh but that situation or oh that happened so at the end of the day it's looking really digging deep and looking yourself in the mirror and really listing what are some of the toxic traits that you have instead of looking outward looking inward and asking yourself those questions, right? Where did those toxic traits stem from, right? Did you see them happening as you were a child? Did you see your parents ever say, complain? Did you ever used to get in trouble for them? Like, where are they stemming from, right? So, and why are you still holding on to them, right? And number five, right? What makes you feel uncomfortable and why? A lot of times, we, I don't know if you ever notice it, that somebody does something, somebody says something, something happens outside of you and right off the bat, you get triggered, a feeling uncomfortable, right? You get that uncomfortable feeling with inside of yourself. What are some things that you notice are a pattern that makes you feel uncomfortable? Because that can also be stemmed from a trauma. It can also be stemmed from something that happened to you in the past as you were younger and it just followed you around of, of always making you feel uncomfortable. So asking yourself that question, what, what, it, what are some things that make you feel uncomfortable and why are you still holding on to it? Number six, what are you lying to yourself about 
Woo! This digs deep. This is really looking yourself in the mirror. There's no turning back when you do shadow work. When you do shadow work, it's really trying to dig deep and understanding yourself. Understanding everything, the good, the bad, you know, the toxic, the everything, and just being real, real with yourself, right? What are you lying to yourself about? I'm going to be completely blunt, blunt, blunt and honest with you. I had, to, I was lying to myself for a long period of time that it was all, a, a lot of the things that my ex did to me, it was his fault. Like, why is he like this? He's a narcissist. He's this, he's that. But I was lying to myself that I didn't do anything wrong, that I tried my hardest, that I did the best that I can do. And that's not true right? I had to be real honest with myself and, and say to myself, a lot of a lot of trauma and a lot of toxic traits that I didn't even realize I had until I started to do this inner work and still I started to do this shadow work that I did bring some toxicity into the relationship as well, right? And I did bring some traumas that I stemmed from my past childhood really expecting for another person to fix me to, to to make me feel whole to make me feel safe to make me and and you can't expect that from other people so this is just an example that i'm giving you guys so maybe i'll help you guys to dig deeper and ask yourself the right questions but again doing the shadow work to me is something they say that don't do shadow work until you feel mentally and emotionally prepared to do it but I feel that if, you, if you're the, out there and you're trying so hard to heal and you're trying so hard to, you know, feel better in your situation, sometimes you have to walk through the darkest of the dark in order to see light so clearly again. In, in order to feel happy, whole, complete, is really digging deep into the darkness. And then once you get once you get out of the darkness, then you can truly live purely in all of the light that you so desire to be in, right? Because you can't you can't just be in the light and not go through the darkness, right? Life is all about experiences. Life is all about learning. Life is all about growing, right? And this is why I'm sharing these tips and tools with you because I want to see and help people to wise up and rise up inside of their life because I've been through the dirt. I've been through the darkest of the darkest moments and I couldn't see the light. So I don't know who's listening to this. If this video has landed on your page or, page or for you, you clicked on this video. This video is basically meant for you. Maybe it's a sign. Think, about, think of it as synchronicity. Think about it as God or whatever you believe in that everything is energy, right? And if you're watching this, you're meant to watch it, right? You're meant to take a step back and ask yourself some deep questions to help you to elevate in life, to help you to grow. Because the only way we can grow is digging deep and, and really learning the lessons that life itself is trying to teach you. And the only way we can do that is by doing some of these exercises that I just shared with you, shadow work, um, asking yourself the right questions, meditation, um, journaling, and all these great tools that you can use to love yourself more, to really dig deep and understand who you are as a person. Because I feel that when we understand who we are as a person is when we can really truly live the life that we were waking up to this day to live. Right? Because some people are just walking blindsided and you're just asleep. Well, maybe this video is for, uh, for you to watch today to wake the hell up, wise up, and rise up. So let's get it. I say in all my videos, each one teach one, share the love, share the knowledge. I hope this video has helped you in some sort of way to wise up and rise up inside of your life because that's where I'm making these videos for. And I hope that it helps you to grow and I hope that this exercise helps you in some sort of way and heals you and you feel good doing this work because it's self-love. This is what shadow work is. It's showing yourself that I love you, I care about you, and we're gonna work on ourselves to grow and become better. So with that being said, when you do this shadow work, 
Come back to this page. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know how it helped you. Let me know if you have any questions on anything that I shared with you. I'm here to help. I'm here to inspire you. And I'm here to help you to grow. If you guys would like, make sure to join the Wise Up, Rise Up community on Facebook. Also, I have an amazing podcast that's going to be dropping out today. I drop podcasts on the Wise Up, Rise Up podcast every Thursdays on Anchor and Spotify. And you can also find me on TikTok giving amazing, ama amazing relationship advices and motivational advice as well. That's rising up. I'm going to leave all the links inside of the comment. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, even give me a thumbs down again. Leave me your comments. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you ever want to book some time with me, you can always go to my Instagram page. There's a link tree. I'll also leave it in the comments. Click the link and then you can also book a half an hour time with me to see if I can help you wise up and rise up inside of your life personally. Take care and I'll see you guys in another video.